Sometimes, in the end of the summer, sometimes kids get some very bad headaches, sometimes they vomit, the headaches get very severe, and they go to the emergency room, and the doctor wants to do a spinal tap. Mm. Why is that? So, um, there are several different reasons you do a spinal tap when somebody has a headache. One of the reasons could be that the doctor's worried about something called a subarachnoid hemorrhage, or bleeding in the brain. Uh, and that would be, you know, one of the more dangerous things that could happen. And that, and that would classically be with the worst headache of your life. But more commonly, let's say in the summer, uh, like you're describing, uh, maybe after a little bit of fever or infection, uh, you can have a virus uh, or any infection causing a meningitis, and that can be causing a headache as well. Uh, and that would be associated with other things such as stiff neck or fever um, or other problems. But a spinal tap isn't really a terrible thing to do, is it? No, a lot of people are afraid of spinal taps. They think they're, they're, they're dangerous. And really, the way they're done today, they're very safe. They're done uh, below the spine. Of course, you know, any procedure has its risks, and, and, and your, doc, you know, your doctor will talk to you about that. But uh, the spinal taps today are very safe, and they're even easier than drawing blood sometimes. But then there's some of most of them, I think, called encephalitis. She usually gets better with no medicine, is that true? Yeah, and encephalitis can often get better on its own, but again, if you, someone does have an encephalitis, and that just means, you know, itis is, is inflammation of the encephalon, which would be the brain, and if you have an uh, inflammation there, uh, you do need to watch the, the patient carefully, because uh, you don't want to, there to be too much swelling or, or, or damage. Um, but sometimes just watching them and, and is the proper way to go. Well, the reason they do the spinal tap is make sure it's not that meningitis, and, and is that correct? Well, the spinal tap is to find out if there's any infection in the cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid surrounding the brain, and that'll give us a, a better idea of what's causing the, the, the problems. But doing the spinal tap and seeing cells doesn't exclude meningitis, but if you see lymphocytes, not too many cells, it's probably that virus, but exactly. they still culture, they wait a couple of days. That's right. Yeah, and today there are a lot of viral antigens we can look for and we can try to even find out what the specific virus that's causing the problem.